This must be it. Groudon is in this underground cavern. Whew. Look at all the streams of lava. It's going to be scorching hot in the dungeon, I think. There should be other rescue teams making their way through, even now. Let's try our best, like always. I thought I knew what heat was after going through Mount Blaze. But I was dead wrong. The magma cavern was an entirely different beast. The further down we went, the hotter it got. Mudkip and Absol were struggling from the very beginning. I soon found myself joining them as I started to get dizzy from all the heat. The fact that there wasn't even a semblance of fresh air anywhere made it really difficult to breathe. There was also debris from rock and ground type Pokemon as well as poisonous mist from poison types. No wonder Blastoise's team had such a hard time getting through here. And they didn't even make it to Groudon. The magma cavern was larger than any dungeon we had previously gone through. It felt like we were going on forever. The heat only made time feel like it was moving slower. And on top of all that, I couldn't get what Gardevoir said to me out of my mind. She said... She said that my role here was coming to an end. What will happen when that time comes? And what even is my role in the first place? I can't even think straight in all this heat. I had to focus on our mission. But it was hard to focus on anything, really. Something kind of ominous, however, is that we didn't run into any other rescue teams on our way down here. We knew that there were some in here, some of them even went down before us. But we didn't run into a single group. Just how big is this place? Or did they all get knocked out already? It's scary to imagine that our group could be the only one left. That's a big responsibility to shoulder onto one rescue team. But this is what we signed up for, I suppose. So we have no room for complaining. Especially when our friends are in danger. Something else I noticed as we kept getting further down is that the deeper we went, the larger the Pokemon became. I don't think I've ever noticed a change like that before. But these Onyx and Steelix, they were so big. They were gigantic. And all in such a closed off area. I thought the legendary birds were impressive, but these guys were somehow able to top that. I... I can only imagine what Groudon looks like. <clears throat> I I feel so dizzy. This heat is so overwhelming. I really don't know if we're gonna make it through this one. But we have to, right? It's never a matter of whether or not we can make it through something difficult. We just know that we have to win. We have to succeed. So we keep pushing on, no matter the odds. We can do this. We'll find them. Groudon, we're coming for you. Alakazam, Tyranitar. Charizard will save you. I promise we'll make it. We have to. We will survive. Let's see. I wonder where we are. I'm certain we've come quite far already. Wah! Quake! Whew, it's over. Hey, Cinequil! Over there! Hey, are you okay? <sighs> what happened to you? We challenged Groudon. And wiped out. Groudon? 
We... It crushed us. That's right. What happened to Alakazam? Where is Alakazam? Alakazam is... Still battling Groudon. Cynical, we've got to hurry. Be careful. Uh, Alakazam, are you okay? Hmm. So it's you. Stay back. This opponent is no laughing matter. Here it comes. C coming? W where? Uh, Alakazam! Alakazam is gone. Maybe he was defeated? Ugh, it's our turn next. But I'm not going down without a fight. Cinequil, let's do our best. It was massive, far larger than I could have ever imagined. The legendary Pokémon said to have created the continents, Groudon. It was in an immense rage. Words weren't even spoken. As soon as it saw us, it attacked. To think that Alakazam's team had been fighting it all this time, and it still didn't go down. How much HP does this monster have? can only hope that they were just about to seize victory for themselves, and that we could just finish the job. Otherwise, I don't know if we stand a chance against this thing. It was a ground-type Pokémon, so Mudkip was our best bet in terms of doing damage. But still, this thing was a beast. It was a master of surviving up to any attack. It created the Earth. The place that we're standing on right now. It didn't really matter what type of advantage we had. This thing was not going to be going down easily. We had to just keep hoping and begging that our luck wasn't going to run out here. I wish this was something that we could just talk through, but that's impossible. It was a miracle alone that we made it down here. When no one else was able to, we succeeded. And even though the ACT, the strongest rescue team in the land, wasn't able to take down Groudon on their own, we're here now, and we're going to finish the job. We have to. For the sake of saving our friends, and also this world, there isn't anything that we can't accomplish. I realize that now. So let's just keep pushing forward, until finally... We survive against all odds and show the whole world that we are capable of bringing it back to peace. Look, it's Alakazam! Charizard and Tyranitar, too! Ugh. Did you do it? Groudon? Are you okay? Yes, fine. We will be fine, but we must get out immediately. What about Groudon? Will it be okay? Your concern is unneeded. It will awaken soon enough. It had lost control only because it was enraged from having its sleep disturbed. It should calm down. Another quake! Out! Quickly! <laughs>